Good evening and welcome to this uh, Wednesday Night Compline here at St. Paul's. My name is Ben. I'm very glad that you're joining with us um, to pray at the end of this day, perhaps uh, whenever you're using this actually, and perhaps um, it's going to be later in the week when you actually are watching and uh, joining in prayer. And actually that will be perfectly appropriate because um, part of our, our reflection for today will be on um, the Thursday, Friday, Saturday um, of this week. So. Uh, this is, uh, we're, we're coming to you on uh, October 30th, and uh, some of you will know, October 31st is Halloween, November 1st is All Saints Day, and then um, November 2nd is All Souls Day. So, um, as we get started, um, we're going to have a bit of reflection time, and uh, thankfully, uh, I didn't plan this this way, but uh, I get to do a little bit of reflection from uh, back with Steve Bell with... Um, this book here, Pilgrim Year, and um, and he has a little chapter here on All Hallowness. Basically, the three holy days that I just mentioned that are almost a bit of a mirror to Easter, and uh, which is kind of nice. We're about six months from Easter, and uh, we're kind of six months to Easter as well. So it's kind of nice to have this as a reminder of uh, three days set aside, a tridium, um, if many of you are familiar with. Um, Easter, the tridium of Easter, of Good Friday through Sunday, that's also three days, tridium, uh, Latin word of four, three days. And so we have a similar three days here where we remember the dead and we commemorate the communion of saints, the holy ones. Saints are just the holy ones. They're not specifically set out in any different way. They're just the holy ones. And we are, as um, believers and as uh, children of God, we can, we can be called saints as well. So um, I know that the Catholic Church and the Anglican Church has saints within our celebration, but um, those are specifically marked out that we know for sure, yes, saints, um, but there is a whole community of saints. Uh, St. Paul, a saint, um, call, talks about a, uh, a cloud of witnesses, the saints around, um, and so um, there's also that. So a bit of reflection here on um, that Steve Bell has um, that will be help, helpful for us in these um, as we go and go through our prayer time. Um, he talks about the tridium, these three days, All Hallows' Eve, that's Halloween, All Saints' Day, All Souls' Day. And during this time, we recall with humility and deep gratitude the others that have gone before us on whose shoulders we now stand. The faith we, we profess is inherited and comes to us as a gift from generation after generation of faithful souls who persevered in love so we might do the same. And so it's also time to reflect on the mystery of death as we pass through life and as we can also turn our eyes towards Jesus and his death and also his resurrection. Um, not wanting to dwell too much on one or the other because both are important in terms of um, his death is important for understanding sin, uh, for us to understand our own sin, when Jesus died for our sin, but also his resurrection, new life. What does that look like? Um, so um, the early church took these three days to celebrate um, martyrs, um, those that have died in profession of their faith. And um, and so this all hallow miss is a rich and meaningful tradition. Here's what Steve Bell writes about that. And so he has this reflection about All Hallows Eve, which is Halloween. Basically, we, we pray for some of the kids on Sunday um, of uh, kids dressing up, going out house to house for candy. And, um, and perhaps you grew up in a tradition. I, I know I did. I grew up in a tradition where um, Halloween was seen um, as, a, as an evil practice, perhaps satanic. Um, but actually, it's the opposite. Hallow, we have it in the Lord's Prayer. Hallowed be thy name. Holy be God's name. So hallow is just holy. That's all that means. And it's actually the opposite, right? So then all hallows Eve, hallowed all those that are holy, those are saints. Um, it is Halloween is the evening before all hallows day. So all saints day. So you have the 31st all Halloween, and then you have all hallows day, all saints day on November 1st. You kind of have those linked together. And so the early Christians, um, went out boldly in the night, giving sweets and cakes to their neighbors, announcing that we need not fear the dead, but rather are called to celebrate and honor them. In Christ the veil is thin indeed, 
and we already enjoy a tremendous fellowship and communion with the eternally redeemed. So when we huddle in fear against the night, we more closely represent the poor Celts. This is the poor Celts uh, that were doing the more satanic, um, more pagan, sorry, uh, the more pagan festival that happened to be at the same time. Uh, they were afraid of the dead, um, but we don't need to be because we have the joy and faith of, of Christ's resurrection to, to look forward to. So um, he's just saying here, it is, this is relevant in our day too. We live in increasingly desperate times. People are afraid. Our horror at the thought of death results in fortress-minded social trends and policies that cut us off from one another. And they actually produce the very death, the separation that we are afraid of. So during this All Hallows Tridium, these three days, um, Steve commends us that we may reanimate our gospel joy and courage for living in death's shadow. And it is indeed a mere shadow, a phantom of no substance in the light of Christ's death-conquering love and the witness of his saints. So some reflection for us as we take our time to pray. Um, I think uh, these this week is also a very helpful time to pray for um, our, our own sense of mortality, our own sense of life and death, and also to give thanks to God uh, for those that have gone ahead of us. Perhaps someone that led you to faith um, that has already died. Perhaps a grandparent, a grandmother, grand, grandfather, or even a parent, a sibling that has gone ahead of you um, into God's arms. And um, this is a, an appropriate time to be remembering and praying for them. Obviously, anniversaries are one way, um, but this is one way where the whole church can pray for those that have gone ahead, uh, for all the saints that are in the faith. So we're going to use, um, during our prayer time, during our intercessions, we're going to actually use the prayers for Easter um, to kind of have that match of, um, of Halloween, All Hallowed Day, uh, all Saints Day and also All Souls Day. So um, as we follow along, we're going to be following the um, PDF that's in the description. Um, we're going to keep on using this uh, for the time being. Um, I think most people are, most of you are getting familiar with this and uh, I'm very glad that uh, you can just be able to get more and more familiar with it. Make that as a rhythm of your own prayer life. As we talk about at St. Paul's, we have this rhythm of life, and we hope that um, this can supplement um, or add to or be a part of that, um, that second rhythm that, um, of prayer and scripture. So, so with uh, the order of service if in front of you, um, let us prepare for our time of prayer together. The Lord Almighty Grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us take a time of silence to reflect on the past day, on the past week, perhaps. And let us say the words of penitence together. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I'll sing for us the Foss Hilleron. O gracious light, Lord Jesus Christ, in you the Father's glory shone. Immortal, holy, blessed is he, and blessed are you, his holy Son. Now evening comes, but light shines forth, the lamps are lit to pierce the night. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit God, 
who dwells in the eternal light. Worthy are you of endless praise, O Son of God, life-giving Lord, wherefore you are through all the earth and in the highest heaven adored. The psalm uh, that we'll have for our, for our scripture, opening scripture, will be from Psalm 24. Um, it is one of these psalms that are um, that paired well together with All Saints Day, with, uh, all, with uh, all Hallows Eve. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who founded it upon the seas and made it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord and who can stand by his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not pledged themselves to falsehood nor sworn by what is a, a fraud. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord and a just reward from God, from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, Lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I think it's always appropriate to consider um, Revelation, when we think of those who have gone ahead of us, um, those who are in the presence of God. So let us uh, read together Revelation 22. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night, they need no light of lamp or sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. Let us take some time to meditate and reflect on this. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun. For the Lord God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue with the responses on page five. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Let us say together the Gospel Canticle. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. As I mentioned, for our prayers of intercession, uh, we'll use a litany for Easter. And so if you have your Book of Alternative Services, you can find that on page 122. 
and the response is uh, the response to let us pray to the Lord is hear us Lord of glory in joy and hope let us pray to the source of all life saying hear us Lord of glory that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter gospel. Pray for countries like North Korea, Yemen, where the church is persecuted, where the church is struggling. Though they may feel dead, we ask for your resurrection life through the power of Jesus' resurrection to flow into them and to revive them. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may provide for those who lack food, work, or shelter. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That by his power, wars and famine may cease through all the earth. We pray especially for places of disaster and famine that are, un that are forgotten, perhaps unknown from us, from our own eyes here in North America. Pray for the civil war in Sudan. We pray for fighting in Gaza, for fighting in Lebanon. We pray for fighting that happens still in Ukraine after many years. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, and the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon all his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. I invite this time of silence for you to pray for um, those that have gone before us in remembrance and thanksgiving of them. And that uh, you would pray um, that their witness and their lives would be a testament to our own the goodness of God in their lives that we would we would be thankful for it for the ways in which they led their lives in Christian and holy ways um, that would be an example for us to follow I just invite this time of silence as you perhaps reflect on those that you know um, that have died perhaps recently in the last year or even those that have died um, from previous times um, that are dear to your your own family or dear to your own life Let us collect all our prayers together with the prayer at the bottom of page 7. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed, all for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen.
And let us pray as Jesus taught his friends and followers. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord look, make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Well, thank you for joining with me uh, for prayer. And I do want to invite any, any of you that might be interested uh, to an in-person midnight mass uh, on on Friday uh, at St. George's. Uh, Tyler and the team are leading a service uh, for All Saints Day. Um, so that's literally the All Saints and All Souls Day. That's the Friday and Saturday. And um, be very welcome to join with that. That'll be in the evening. Um, they say midnight mass. I don't know how late it will be. Um, you can probably find out more information at their church website. Um, that Their church website is very easy to remember. I can remember it off the top of my head. It's sggp.church. Very simple. Um, and that information will be there. Um, and if you'd like to join in, it would be a very different uh, type of service than we, we typically have. Um, and it's an opportunity to um, pray for those who have died, um, the saints that have gone ahead of us. And I realize this is a bit bad timing, but I want to do a plug for Steve Bell again. Um, Steve Bell, I, I realize some of you will know him. Uh, he is an artist, a musician that's from Winnipeg. And he was in town recently. And uh, by the time I'm getting to this, this is now two weeks past. Um, but he was in town for a concert. Always great, lovely, uh, lovely gentleman. Plays guitar wonderfully. And, um, and he's a good, beautiful storyteller. So... Um, Hence why I've chosen to use some of his resources um, to, to help us uh, in our reflections. Um, you can find out more information about Steve Bell on his website, stevebell.com, I think that is. Um, listen to some of his music. It's very beautiful and meditative music, uh, very simple to listen to. Um, and he has a, this pilgrim year has songs that kind of follow along with this book, follow along with the, the seasons of the year. And uh, it'd be a good way to kind of... Uh, meditate through the different seasons as especially as we come to the end of this ordinary time what we call it and we have advent um and christmas just around the corner i know it's scary to say that we're still in october but it is literally just around the corner it's a few more weeks um so it's a great way for for reflection he has an album that is around the seasons another one around advent um so uh, steve bell don't want to i'm not making any commission on this he's just a great fellow a uh, great musician so um Anyways, thank you for joining with uh, with me. Hope to um, hope that some of you will be um, praying throughout the week um, over that All Hallow Miss Tridium. Um, if that is a new practice for you, or perhaps it's going to be something this year that you're going to try out um, to basically be uh, thinking about All Hallow Miss, this All Hallows, All Saints as um, as a counterpart uh, on the opposite end of the year, right? May and April and May for Easter, and now we have uh, the end of October for. Uh, for Hallowmas, um, Halloween, All Saints Day, All Souls Day. So once again, thank you. Um, hope that you enjoyed the, your time with me. Um, you probably learned something. I learned something as I do this. Uh, one reason why I do this as well. And uh, But most of all, um, I'm glad that you can pray with me and spend the time in meditation with God. What? So good night. See you next time.